Hello my friends and welcome back to another quick tutorial video. Today I want to show you something pretty cool that I only learned uh, just yesterday. Now as a lot of you probably already know I do a lot of lettering and I also make a lot of fonts and I decided uh, to try and design a new alphabet yesterday which you can see here. Now I did this whole alphabet in about half an hour and I recorded the whole thing as well so if you want to see the entire process I'll probably just chuck it at the end of this video in like a fast forward or something so you can see it all. And uh, the way that I made this alphabet was using something that I just recently discovered called the Shape Builder tool, which is this one over here, or Shift M. So basically, the Shape Builder tool allowed me to make every single one of these letters using just a few basic shapes, which is what you can see here. So with this shape, I'll just make another copy of it. With this shape that I've made, I was basically able to grab the, well, highlight everything grab the shape builder tool and then draw the shape that I wanted like so and just by doing that then I drag the shape away because there's a few shapes that I didn't actually use that'll be left behind oh I obviously missed a the triangle there but you get the point so just like that I'm able to create an entire letter so I'll show you guys how I how I did this um, using these shapes. I managed to do the entire thing in about half an hour, so it's way quicker than anything I'd been using before. So in order to create these shapes, I started just by creating a single rectangle, and because this is quite a blocky-looking alphabet, I knew that consistency was going to be the most important thing. So I decided that every letter would be three times the width of, of this this uh, leg if you will so I created three of these and oops not sure why that's not snapping there we go um, I created three of these and then they were actually a bit wider so I'll just bump it up a bit I grabbed another one and used copy and then paste in front which is command F or control F flipped it on its side like so dragged it up into the corner here and then scaled it in and basically used that as a guide for the top bridge that you can see in all the letters then I just duplicated that one uh, by the way to duplicate these these um, rectangles if you're wondering how I'm doing it I actually just hold down alt and then click and then drag and out comes a copy of it. So you can see next to my cursor, it's a bit hard to see, but there's another little white arrow next to my cursor there. And if I let go of Alt, you'll see it disappears. So it's just moving the existing one. But if I click and drag and hold Alt and then release my click, actually I'm gonna hold Shift as well just to keep it perfectly in line. I can release and I have a copy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Then I drew a couple of diagonal lines. The ones that I did that were diagonal I just went from this corner here to here and then from this point down to here from up here down to there and from there down to there and that pretty much gave me everything I needed um, there were a couple of shapes like the letter D R and K where you'll notice I had to make a couple of little changes because if I had left the, the D looking how it was originally, it looked the same as the O here, so I needed to do something to customize that. And the issue with the K was that it looked exactly the same as the H, and the R looked exactly the same as the A. So there were a couple of other little issues that I had to sort of iron out there, but to do that, all I did was uh, draw a triangle by doing this. I clicked on the top corner, went down to here, up to there, and back to the top corner. Oops, well anyway, <laughs> you get the point. I drew a, <laughs> drew a triangle and then I just kept duplicating that and putting it over the top and using the Pathfinder tool to uh, minus the front. So yeah, I hope you guys find this somewhat useful. Like I said, I'll, I'll put the entire recording at the end of this video in fast forward so you can get a glimpse of how I made every letter. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions about this process, by all means, let me know. I realize this is a pretty quick tutorial, so I haven't gone into too much depth, but uh, by all means, 
just let me know. And if there's anything else that you want to learn in Illustrator or about lettering or in Photoshop, even some After Effects stuff, put it in the comments or feel free to send me an email through my website or a message or something and I'll, I'll see if I can work up a tutorial for you. Thanks a lot, guys.